Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. It's wonderful morning. So we got a new thing that I want to try. And um, I just want to put the scripture up on the board and we'll spiritually, you know, uncover and discern what the word is telling us. So we're people that need a visual. So I want to try to, you know, put the word up here so you can see the word as we go along and break the word down. We can see it for ourselves. So this is a beautiful word right here. And it's titled The Transfer. Let us pray and then we'll get into this mighty, powerful word right here. Dear Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, Father, we're thankful for the avenues that you have allowed for us to have, Father, just to be able to study your word and get acclimated with your word, get closer to you, Lord. We're thankful in these times that in darkness, that your light is with us and that we are shining and that we are continuing to indulge in your word and to get a better understanding in Jesus' mighty, powerful name. Hallelujah. So this word, as we can see, you know, it's coming out of various places. And we got Matthew 28, 17 through 18. We got John 3, 17. We got 5, John 5, 22 through 23. And we also got John 5, 24 through 27. Now let us start up at the top right here. And I titled this a transfer. Now, as you see in Matthew 28, 17 and 18, Jesus came to his apostles. And when they saw him, they worshiped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. As we see right here, John 3, 17, for God the Father sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him we might be saved. So we see that the individual that God the Father had given us, he's given us to us that we may be saved. And he didn't give him to us, so he didn't give him to us so we can be condemned. So when we look up here, the one that has been given all power on heaven and earth is the one, the Father who has given us. Amen. Hallelujah. That we won't be condemned and that we'll be saved. So you have to get a relationship through the one the Father has given us and given all power to, and that is Jesus Christ. Let us look right here at John 5, 22 through 23. For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment to the Son. So we see that the Father has committed all judgment to the Son. He's not going to be judging us. The Son is who he has given all power on heaven and on earth and who he has committed all judgment to. Now, understand this. We can't be running around saying Allah and trying to say everything but that name Jesus where the power is. Check this verse right here in 23. He committed all judgment to the Son that all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He that honor not the Son, honor not the Father which sent him. So you have to honor the Son as well as you honor the Father. You can't honor the Father and don't honor the Son who has sent him. The Father has sent the Son, so you have to honor him as well. So down here in John 5, 24 through 27, let us just read and understand what Jesus is saying. Verily, verily, which is interpreted truly, truly, I say to you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me have everlasting life. So you have to hear Jesus' word and you have to believe on the Father who sent him and to have everlasting life. It says that. And shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming. And now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. We have to understand that we are walking around sleep dead. And when you hear the voice of the Son of Man, if you hear it, you will have life. That is Jesus Christ and his Holy Ghost power. You have to seek a relationship and hear for that voice. That's beautiful. For as the Father have life in himself, so has he given the Son to have life in his self. Now, this is not talking about the flesh. This is talking about the spirit. You can't say all the way from Jesus' birth, all the way to the resurrection, when he died, now the Father raised up and to the throne and that you don't believe the Son reign no more. You do not have true belief. You are antichrist. You do not have the true belief. You have to believe this in 26, for the Father has life in himself, so have he given life to the Son to have life in himself. This life in himself is not talking about flesh, but in his spirit. Now, 27, and have given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the son of man. Now, how are you going to believe here in Matthew 28, 17, 18, that he has been given all power on heaven and earth, but you do not believe that he is reigning on the throne who the father has given the power on heaven and in earth? Well, we got something out of this word right here 
that I titled The Transfer. Let us understand the transfer, understand that Jesus is real and he is residing on the throne with the Father. The Father has given him all power and authority to be the author and the finisher of our faith. I hope you guys got something out of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah.